what's up my friends I'm back so have you ever been in a situation where you just don't have time to change your own oil so you pay somebody to do it and with really bad luck they mess it up so check this out I usually do my own oil changes and stuff but didn't have time went to a quick quick uh, oil change place not gonna name it and with my luck this is what happened hold up let me show you Happened on my E39 wagon, by the way. Right, so, a few weeks after oil change, I noticed some weird spots towards the right, or sorry, uh, left side, so driver's side. I was like, huh, what's going on? Pop the hood, and let me show you what I found. See the bulge over here? from pressure from oil pressure and this gasket is supposed to be in there not here so put the gasket in one place so now I'm gonna create a mess and it's actually very hot the car was running create a mess and try to replace it have to buy a little cheapy filter for it see how much mess we can make over here put in as many rags as I could hopefully not, not too much Uh, everything's still pretty hot. I just drove the car. So, but anything for you guys. Anything for you. Just trying to get it with as little mess as possible, but knowing my luck, it's gonna get messy real soon. So warm. All right, smooth. So check this out. I just took a filter. Uh, the O-ring off. And there's still a second O-ring that's like a gazillion years old in it. Huh. Look at that. That is dried out. So that's why they missed it. They didn't realize that, <laughs> that O-ring was so flat <laughs> that they thought it was a piece of plastic. It's kind of funny. I mean, not because it's my car, but at least it's an easy fix. And with BMWs, Oil filters being on top. It's not a big deal. This filter is still good too. So we're gonna keep the filter. Yeah, and I, I, I even bought them my own filter, which came with everything. This was a Wix filter, so I'm keeping it on. I'm just gonna reuse the new O ring because that one's been bulged, so it's been kind of squished. So I don't trust that one anymore. So. Some lubrication in it. Man, this is crazy. I don't know how how they miss it like that, but I guess it happens. Maybe it was a new loop jack or whatnot. So see where this goes, and they shoved it right there, which is completely wrong spot for it. This is crazy never seen that before. I was just gonna tighten it to 25 Newton meters which is about 18 pounds of America 
That's it. Which is not even tight. I mean, it's barely tight. I'd say almost hand tight. And as I called it, I did make a little bit of a mess, but I expected more mess. Realistically, I was fairly, fairly good at this. Getting it out. All right, I mean, the last couple tablespoons of oil. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I mean, that's realistic all the last. So let's negligent them out, drive it for a little bit, and then gonna give it a test. But just in case, YouTube police will get me. I'll show you the level. It's actually fairly important because, again, this is something that I just cut. The oil was changed maybe like a week ago. But you'll notice it. So as you could see, we could see it. It's pretty much full. Couple drops don't do much, but yeah, that is wild. So here's the carnage, guys. Here's the super dry, barely pliable gasket, and here's the one that was squeezed in. And again, even though it looks fine for something that costs a couple bucks, maybe better off just replacing, replacing the gasket. All right, guys. Well, hopefully that video was helpful for anybody that's wondering if they're gasket why the why the gasket is sticking out from it it's because it wasn't put in right to begin with all right have a good day and hopefully your luck is better than mine almost forgot please support your local animal shelters right bear bear right laddie